with another video. I'm here with Kyle. Yo, what's up? And today, you guys, we're gonna be talking about the Squid Guards yet again because they have literally been terrorizing our entire neighborhood. Literally, ever since the TV show came out, guys, the Squid Game Guards have been known to go around the entire country and they're trying to get everyone to play the games. And because we've seen the show, we know how this goes down and we've actually played the games ourselves if you saw on Kyle's YouTube channel. What did we play again? We played Red Light, Green Light, and then they made us play Tug of War. Tug of War, yeah, these were really freaking intense games and it was yeah. so stressful because again as you guys know if you get eliminated in the game you're literally eliminated from life in general they show no mercy guys like if you mess up in the squid games like they won't hesitate to eliminate you and it's crazy because like each game requires different skills like red light green light it requires like the ability to move quickly and also freeze and like stay super still and then tug of war it was all about strength so i feel like the next one that they make us play will involve something to do with like being smart you know in that case i'll totally win no i feel like I'll, I'll win i feel like i would let the stress get the best of me because what are the other games in the show there's like the cookie game there's the cookie game is one that i would not want to play i'd be so bad at that you're under so much pressure with the time limits they give you and stuff and what's the other one they play oh they play the uh the one where you have to choose the glass oh and the marble game do you remember the marble game yeah ones like the the ones where they have to choose the glass like that's not even fair it doesn't even require any skills it's just pure luck yeah it's literally whoever goes first is just doomed pretty much you know what i mean yeah and it just sucks because like you know how in the squid games they order you from number one all the way up to the last player you don't know if the first player to play is gonna be good or if being the last one is the better option because in the bridge game the only ones that would survive are the ones that played last that's why generally i would just aim for the middle like if i could be like somewhere in between those numbers i'd be happy because i don't want to go first and i don't really want to go last either that is very true today we're gonna be getting the drone up and looking for these guards in our neighborhood because they've been bothering us a lot they've been forcing us to play these games we consented to one game and ended up playing two already once you start the squid games you have no choice but to continue playing you literally sign away your rights to them and we have no idea why i don't even know what their motive is really except to mess with people and there's been so many police reports in the area about people calling in saying there was this creepy guy in a suit like with a briefcase coming up to their door and offering them money if they beat him in rock paper scissors and then like i always say that's how they get you they lure you in with like something smaller and then they say hey if you want to win the big money we have something for you and then that's how you get sucked into it the money is literally all just a big trap and a way to get you to play the game honestly i don't even feel like i don't know i mean i haven't seen a lot of the money have you maybe they don't even give money i think they do but the thing is, is there's literally hundreds of players in the squid games and only one comes out on top so your chances of winning this thing are actually so little that is so true we're gonna get the drone up and try to look for these guys so we can be one step ahead of them and maybe prepare maybe see if they're preparing some sort of next game for yes, us or... because if we can actually take the drone up and find other people playing the games like they often host the games in like fields and stuff like that we can see which games they're playing then we can prepare for the potential games they're gonna force us to play okay do you want to fly the drone yeah i can fly it i can fly it okay 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 we actually already got it ready on standby i'm gonna launch it from the house right now okay okay, okay and we have liftoff on the drone right oh now we just gosh. took off from the house guys yana let's react to this okay i'm really freaking scared i don't want to see them today i'm not in the mood for them today yeah i'm definitely not in a squid game kind of mood i mean but we're asking for it we could easily just sit inside and relax watch some netflix today but here we are making videos for you guys trying yeah, to find the squid game people what's the first thing you see when you log into netflix squid game it's literally everywhere you guys like it's, it's kind of literally scary. blowing up right now but these squid game guards you you guys know they wear like red and pink there's a lot of green here a lot of like brown a so lot it, of shouldn't, blue. it shouldn't be too hard to spot them i know they should stand right out they really should i don't see anything though i would expect to see them in a field or like parking lot or something like that i yeah. don't see anything so far oh my god it looks really peaceful how many people in the area like in the town do you think have actually called the number on that card? I'm assuming a lot. Honestly, I understand the appeal of the game. I completely understand it. Like it sounds kind of too good to be true, but a lot of people would call that number. Yeah. Look at this playground right here. Do you think anyone has ever played I feel there? like this playground, like this would be a perfect spot for the cookie game. Yeah, you know what I'm it would be. It would be because it kind of fits the theme. Oh my gosh. Is that someone walking their dog? Yeah. I really hope they're aware of what's happening in the neighborhood. Like, I'm super nervous right now because I just feel like the if Squid Game them. people are going to know that we're trying to find them. And they might just find and us And what will they? what will they try to do to us if they figure out that we're trying to cheat? We're trying to, like find out what games are, are gonna be played because we're trying to cheat and prepare for the those games do you think they might eliminate us 
I don't know. I feel like maybe they'll put us at like a disadvantage in the next game. You oh, know, that's even worse. Like honestly. maybe they'll make us play first in in the bridge game or something. Do you think if you break the rules on purpose, you could get like kicked off the game, not eliminated, if you know what I mean, but like kicked off for breaking the rules? I don't know. It could either go. It could go one of two ways. Either the Squid Game people don't like when you cheat, or they like when you cheat because remember a lot of the players in the TV show they would cheat and use like lighters and they would. and that other guy was pushing people off the bridge. I think the Squid Game people like when everyone starts to get like really violent and competitive yeah i feel like they're really just testing our limits i think that's what it is are we seeing anything yet no i'm not seeing anything i'm just trying to take it all around the town and maybe even go to each field if each like open area and see if there's any games being yeah, posted there not too many open areas here i don't really see much guys if you've noticed anything so far let us know down below in the comments you know what i also noticed they always play during the day Never yeah, at night. Yeah, yeah. They don't try to hide who they are. I think they're it's not... because the Squid Game guards they they go to sleep at night. Like they're off their shit. Oh yeah, you know? they probably are because they are like actual employees. Yeah, right? and like, the Squid Game guards they they themselves are being forced to force us to play the they Squid are? Games. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, like the front man. Like he's that guy in the TV really? show where, that wears the black with like the crystal looking face. He's the one that forces all the Squid Game guards to actually play the games. Oh my God, I kind of feel bad for them Especially now. Especially the circle workers. Those guys are literally being forced by the triangle guys who are like the soldiers. And then those triangle guys are being forced to enforce the circle guys by the square guys. But if they are being forced, does that mean that like the players could kind of like try to gain their sympathy because they're being forced as well? I don't know. It I, could be a weak link, honestly. I don't know, but those square guys, the generals that yeah. watch over everything, they really make sure that the triangle guys show no mercy. So, yeah. Like, I, if you mess up in these games, they, they're not, they won't hesitate to eliminate I'm you. I'm sure. I'm really sure. Okay, I'm going to oh take it back over to the field. Yeah, back. try to go, like, where there's open areas, like the playground or the field or somewhere around there. Okay, okay, I'm going to go over there right now. Okay. Wait, Yana. Yana. Wait, do you see Holy that? crap, Yana, Oh my look. god, they're there. Look. What I the see hell? the squid game guys. Look, they're Look right there them. in the red. And you then see? it looks like there's a bunch of players lined up. Okay, I'm going to get really oh low to them. Okay, just be really, really careful because they can <gasps> see us. Yana, look at this. They're all lined up. Do you think that oh could my be God. the game, the look, first game? They're not playing what I think they're playing, are they? Red light, green light? It looks like it. It's the exact oh setup God. for it. What the Look, heck? and they're all pointing their weapons and everything. Look at this. They're about to play. God. See, I told you the this police is, were right. Like, the, there is Squid Games so happening. This is the game where only one can win, right? Yeah, only one player. Wait, really? Wait, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. One no. player wins the entire Squid Game thing, oh, but like okay. whoever doesn't make it here won't make it to the second to game. The second round, okay, okay. So this is the first game for these people. These pl look, look, look! They're playing. They're running. Wait, that guy moved. Oh, that guy, that, that guy moved. Really oh ahead. my god! Oh my god! You must have just took him out. They're taking them down. Holy crap! They oh must God. be they must be taking them out with like some sort of laser. Whoa! What the hell? That guy just fell too. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe they're using some sort of like invisible uh, like like uh like sound wave or sound something wave. to take them yeah, out. Yeah. Holy crap, look, they're actually oh, playing. They're so close, they're so close. Oh my god, wait, wait. Oh my god. That guy just moved, that guy moved what? too. Oh what they just the took hell? him out as well. Wait, did he win? Wait, that guy just won. That on guy's the, left. the winner. Holy oh crap. God. Look, they're like celebrating for him. So he gets the money now, right? Oh my god, look at that. Look at that, they're I think happy so. for him. Wait, that guy doesn't look too happy though because all of his players just got eliminated. Of course, those are people Which he totally knows. Who's that guy going to play against then because there's no one else in his in his team? Maybe we'll play against him next. Oh like if God. we level up, you know what I mean? Because yeah. we, we pass that game. If we have to play in the ne in the third game, maybe yeah. he's going to be involved in it. it. It's kind of like, like a championship, you know what I mean? Like it goes up and up and up. Hey, just whatever happens, I really hope it's not that cookie game. Yeah, yeah, the freaking sugar cookie. Yana, I can't believe this. We actually just found the red light green light squid games on the drone live i can't believe we just saw that guys but we have an advantage because we just saw this we now have the ability to prepare for the next round you know what i mean yeah we'll, we'll know who we're up against and stuff you know we should really start mentally preparing for the next game because now that that game's over with maybe they're they're trying to start the next ones i'm gonna put you guys down now so we can go and prepare for whatever's coming we don't really know what the next game is we don't know when it's gonna happen but we do know we ended up making the mistake of consenting at the beginning and we can't turn back now so the game might happen any day now guys whatever you do never call the
the number. As tempting as it is to claim that grand prize and all those millions of dollars, do not do it because your chances are super slim. There are literally hundreds of people participating in the Squid Games all across the country and it's not worth it, guys. You don't want to risk getting eliminated and then you know what happens after that. You don't want to risk getting eliminated for that money, guys. Drop a like on this video and share it everywhere to spread the word about the Squid Games and make sure that everyone in your neighborhood knows not to underestimate and mess with the Squid Game guards. All right, guys, we're gonna go prepare now. We're gonna go look over the footage and see if we can get any clues as to how to level up further in the game. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.